Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at the FS Realistic Pro V2. Uh, this is not going to be a comparison video on how V1 was versus what newly released uh, V2 has because I did not have V1 so I'm not going to try to dig into uh, what the differences are and stuff like that. This is going to be a singular video, a singular um, FS Realistic Pro V2 review or showcase or whatever you call it so first i will go over all of the tabs here and what you can um, expect from this add-on first of all before before i go into any of the content uh let me thank all of you for all the support on the on the recent streams that i've been doing and uh if you like these kind of videos i'm sure you'll find a lot of useful videos in my msfs trips and tricks playlist if not and if you're into some technical stuff you can check out my p828 arrow 3 tutorial series or you can also check out the leonardo md80 series system series as well um, and if you like the content please 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 make sure you like the videos and subscribe to the channel it really 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 helps a lot with my motivation and with the channel growth as well so thanks again if you did that and uh, now sit back relax and enjoy the video so let me go over all these uh, tabs here first of all and then i'll do a quick quick uh, uh, review or uh, my take on this add-on and then we'll fly the 172 around ronald reagan airport so that you can actually see all the effects live uh, uh, right here right okay so first of all props to this guy uh, Roy for uh, the UI design really simple and nice UI design makes things easy for even the beginner pilot so that's that's what I really like about this um, first you'll have the effects tab where you'll have all the effects that are available I'm not going to go into all of these but you have a whole host of them and uh, you can also edit each and every effect uh, in terms of both the movement that the effect causes and also in terms of the sounds that the effect has for example let's say i want to reduce my breathing you can you can see the breathing effect right now where the cockpit is moving up and down right if i want to reduce the um uh, reduce this movement then i can always uh, make this slider to something like 10 or something and that will reduce my breathing movements right i keep it at 100 because it just brings life i i like it at 100 just as it is uh, by default but yeah same way for all the other effects you have both sound and uh, camera movement options going on for example clear clear prop you can always clear preview prop. clear prop you can also preview the effects the sound effects uh, using the preview button here for each and every effect so really well made ui and uh, um, really well thought out effects i would say because these are the small things i mean come on toilet flush really but you know when you hear that sound when the airplane is cruising a pmdg 737 let's say um it you chuckle a bit you know like where how far we have come in simming where there's an add-on which also adds this to your uh, flying experience you actually feel like there are passengers uh, uh, that you're flying around uh, same way for the cabin ambient sound, you know, really well done cabin ambient sound, honestly. <laughs> right? Same way you can also have like small cabin ambient sounds where only a couple of people are talking here and there. Yeah. So, yeah, really well made, really well done. Uh, I would so my my uh, my my view on this add-on is that it honestly adds life to MSFS, which wasn't there before. I've been missing all of this on MSFS that was there on Explain again because of Roy, who developed the XP realistic add-on for Explain, right? And this was all missing on MSFS. You land at minus 200 feet per minute, or you land at minus 500 feet per minute. Did not make a difference. It used to feel the exact same bland, um, you know, but now you can actually feel the difference. You can actually feel that you've landed a little bit harder than you should be, right? And that's that's the difference that this add-on adds. If you pull on the yoke too much, you will feel the difference in your camera movement. So that will tell you that, oh, I might have 
pulled a bit too much or might have pushed a bit too much so these are the kind of effects that it adds along with you know the subtle sound effects that uh, when you have the flaps out completely out it will change the way wind interacts with your airplane and the uh, sound that it makes so it, it changes that as well you can actually feel the power of the engine because of the cockpit vibrating uh, during takeoff you can also uh, feel the power of the engine in the air when you're idled and you suddenly go full throttle in the Cessna 172 and you'll f you'll feel all of this when we actually fly here in a bit uh, but otherwise yeah my my take on this add-on is this is an absolute must-have for msfs there is literally no no doubt if you're flying on msfs if you're even uh, like 10 percent seriously flying on msfs this is an absolute absolute must-have for msfs definitely for sure now uh, you have the profile cloud option here where uh, it will detect your airplane and it'll give you all the top profiles uh, top sound and movement profiles that have been generated by some community members here and you can directly just import them and use them by default also I feel like it, they have done a pretty good job at um, you know setting the effects according to your airplane so I, I, honestly I I've used um, one or two you know these effects from the community and they have worked just fine so just download whatever is on the top and it'll be just fine and then if you're flying and you feel that some sound effect is a bit too much or some movement is a bit too much you can always go back and tweak it and save it um, uh, to your liking right next you have the profiles tab which will show the active profile whichever one you have downloaded or whichever one, whichever the default one is loaded right now master switch will completely turn off all the effects you see the breathing has gone and all the effects will be gone as well and um, master switch on will obviously enable all of them reset to default will reset my profile which i have loaded to the default version which is the asobo c172 sp classic in case you know um, in case you messed around a lot and now you have no way to go back to what you were at you can just hit the reset button and it will go to the base default profile that was loaded before right if you want to share your own profile let's say you've made a bunch of edits and if you want to share your profile you can hit share and then write your name profile remarks and share that will bring up your profile on the profile cloud really easy to work with there's not much to look at here except these uh, options that I explained and then in settings you have the master volume of all the effects again just another degree of freedom in case you want to make the effects a little bit more subtle um, auto minimize it will minimize fs realistic on start auto start it will uh, automatically start the add-on with msfs just i leave it on always announce connection this will call out that fs realistic connected when msfs starts so just so that you know that uh, it is connected and there will be no issues with your effects uh, uh, when you're flying mute in background this basically means that uh, in case you have something else like a browser or something open and msfs is running in the background then it will also mute the fs realistic effects and it's good to have this um, enabled so that you don't have these wind ambient sounds and stuff like that when you're trying to watch a video or something in the background um, and msfs is just running you know it, it'll disable your, uh, your uh, fs realistic effects that way and then about tab has just some version information your license and all the links that you'll need to get any support or share your feedback so yeah really simple and nice ui um, very beginner friendly as well so if someone is coming into msfs and he or she buys this add-on they are not going to be lost it it's all very easy to understand and right there in front of you now without any further ado let's get into the cockpit of this uh, Cessna 172 and fly it around I'm going to enable yeah we have this enabled I think so we are good I wanted to show you this effect uh, once we are in the air Do you hear those uh, you hear those subtle squeaky sounds that's what FS Realistic adds to it 
before it used to be like flying on rails or uh, taxiing on rails where it's just you know moving floating you know let's take off and you'll see the cabin vibrations right you can actually feel the power and that's the ground rumble really well done effects honestly very convincing ground rumble you can turn the volume down if you feel like it's too much but the bass sound itself is amazing and obviously the cockpit movements and stuff is uh, great as well what i'm going to do is change the weather to a bit uh, bit of a nasty weather that we have some turbulence going on I think you should see the plane bounce around quite a bit. So what I was talking about, uh, G-forces impact. So if you, let's say I pulled on the yoke a bit too much. See the sound effect. And also the camera movement. It actually makes you feel like, hey, you made a bit too much of a movement on your controls. Same way for the aileron as well. And the airframe wind sound changes as well according to your controls movement. So that's amazing. Now when I turn the flaps down, uh, or when I deploy the flaps, you'll see how the sounds have changed, right? See that? That's with flaps. And that is without flaps. Again. With flaps. These are the small details that the add-on adds and it's almost, you know, unbelievable to believe that MSFS doesn't have it by default but here we go so let's do a soft landing first and then we'll do a hard landing so that you can see the difference between the two I am on full flaps so I think it should be good keep going at 60 knots a bit of a crosswind going on Okay, so let's try to do a soft landing here. We run out of the runway. Wasn't as soft as I'd like, but you'll see the difference. Okay. Now let's do a hard landing. now i have the crashes disabled you know just to show you the difference between the two landings but ideally you would have just crashed on that one so but the point here is that you can actually feel how soft you're landing or how hard you're landing because it'll, it'll the vibrations and the sounds and everything will change according to your landing rate seamlessly so that's amazing it's amazing to have an msfs like i said before right it used to feel like the same even if you land at uh, 200 or 100 or uh, 300 uh, not anymore so now i'll show you the crash uh, screaming effect sound effect and that that's really hilarious but it's great that we have that on the sim here taking out the flaps to speed up and then I'll crash it in some open area ah, 
let's see what we have here. Yep, that looks like a good field to crash. was funny not sure if sarcasm comes with the add-on as well or was that <laughs> unintentional but anyways so that was a little showcase of uh, fs realistic pro v2 again i'd like to say that roy this is something that you have gifted to the flight sim community you have no idea how much of an immersion you've added to you know people who actually seriously fly and even casual flyers honestly so a big thanks to roy for taking the effort to build this add-on and uh, if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel go check out the add-on show some love to roy as well and i will see you in the next video happy flying take care and stay safe bye